Ralph Ragnick, sir, you have just watched the best and the worst of Manchester United. 3-2 winners against Arsenal at Old Trafford. Some brilliant moments in that game. Some horrendous moments in that game. One of the most bizarre goals you're ever likely to see. Before we get into any of that, Carrick, well done. Three games as our interim, interim manager. A win to top the Champions League group. A draw away at Stamford Bridge. And a win tonight there. It might not have been pretty across all of three games. But the results were there. So well done to you. You steered the ship in a week where Manchester United as a club were in a tailspin. And we needed that. And tonight United were a club in a tailspin on the pitch. Sometimes. And then other times, great. As I said, Radnick has seen the best and the worst of Manchester United tonight. And I tell you what. He can't wait to drop that man there. Cristiano Ronaldo. I bet he can't wait to get... get, get sod that. Ronaldo coming up with his 800th career and 801st career goals tonight. As Manchester United come away with three vital points. Jeez. It feels like a long time since we won at Old Trafford, since we even scored at Old Trafford. Oh, my God. What was your reaction to that game? That first goal, by the way. Martin Atkinson, just, can you just go and retire? Ridiculous. I, mean, I don't know what was more ridiculous. Was that decision or the penalty decision that he didn't give straight away? If I'm taking my red-tinted glasses off, I'd probably say, OK, I'd understand why that first goal was given. If it was against United, I would have wanted it as well. De Gea should have been getting up quicker. He was fine a minute later. Odd, but he should have blew his whistle, but he didn't see the keeper was down in time. Blah, blah, blah. Very United, very on-brand United goal to concede there. And Fred heavily involved in it. And my word, Fred, tonight. Is that not just the most Fred performance tonight? Does mad things like that. And then pulls up with the assist for the equaliser, comes up with winning the penalty from Odegaard to the second goal, comes up with a fantastic block against, I think it was Saka towards the end. Fred, embodying Manchester United tonight, the best and the worst on display for Ralph Radnick there. But United needed the win tonight. As I said, if we had lost that, I think we would have been eight points behind Arsenal. And, you know, this, we're, we're chasing the top four this season. So Carrick has steered that ship. And now we pass the reins to Rangnick. What, what do you think Ralph's going to look at or to be thinking about when he goes into that first training session tomorrow? I suppose we'll know because we're going to have the press conference at 9 a.m. But I expected a little bit of a, a, a new manager, not a buzz, but I expected the players to be like, right, OK, we've got our new manager in the stands. We need to show here tonight that we can play this pressing game, that we, out of possession, can be a collective unit. We can pre <laughs> put Rashford those first 45 minutes. Wow, he was poor. Manchester United were overall pretty poor. But we came up with that goal just before half time that changed the changed probably the change of half time team talk and changed the feeling coming out in that second half, eh? Great team goal. We won the ball back high up the pitch. I think Fred was involved in that. Couple of neat passes. Fred, nice reverse pass. Bruno, first goal. I think it was in 16 games, and you saw what it meant to him. The vein was really popping out of his neck. Brilliant. Man United went in one or a half time, and we came out in the second half and we turned the screw straight away. And that's what you want to see United do. Diogo Delot, by the way, Wan Bissaka, you might have just been played out of a right back position. He was fantastic tonight. I'm not just talking about going forward defensively as well. Up against Emil Smith Rowe, who was dangerous all game. Delot, well done. But that reverse pass from Delot, he gave it to Rashford. Rashford then found who else? But Cristiano Ronaldo. It was so inevitable that he was going to score tonight after being dropped for the Chelsea game. And because you saw he was hungry for it. And he got the second as well. You know, it was a ridiculous. It was honestly, I have no idea how that was not given as an as an on-the-pitch penalty immediately by Atkinson. Odegaard is literally sliding from behind and taking Fred's leg out. <laughs> Obvious penalty. Ridiculous. Anyway, it was given because of VAR. Ronaldo <sighs> smashing it down the middle like a bullet. Did you see uh, Sancho and who was it? Tellez, or was it Delot in celebration going behind him, like two little fangirls trying to do the Sioux celebration as well? That made me laugh. But look, Ronaldo came up with the goods there tonight. As I said, 800th and 801st career goals. Truly insane numbers from a man who continues to deliver. And I tell you what, he was pressing. Ronaldo, I think, I think that was a bit of a nod to Randick in the, in, the, in the stands. Ronaldo was really showing the intensity in that last half an hour that United needed. And we got. But I tell you what, as good as we can talk about Ronaldo and the great stuff that he got, our defence, what are you doing? Just our defence is shocking, man. To concede that goal so soon after Ronaldo scored the second and made it 2-1, we conceded 90 seconds later, a simple ball in over the top of Tellez, 
in behind the fullback, cut back. I think it was Odegaard. Mate, yeah, that's happened way too often at United this season. Just balls out behind our fullbacks and cutbacks. It's, sim it's simple organisation. It's poor. And that, for me, is a big reason why Harry Maguire has been criticised fairly so often this season. Because that sort of organisation should be his responsibility. On the pitch, the, the organisation, of course, comes down to the, the training and the coaching X, Y, Z too. But on the pitch, he's got to make sure his team stays in shape, stays in line, doesn't, doesn't drift too far apart so there's too many spaces in between them. Maguire's got to do that. And as I said, if, if Randnick's coming away from that tonight, he can look at the best and the worst bits of United. The best, you know, we work fast on the counter-attack. There was some incisive movement and, and football when we decided to play it. But playing out from the back, we cannot do it. I hope he's got a magic wand because we need a miracle to be able to start playing out from the back. And then you watch Arsenal doing it, right? Even under even more intense pressure because we were actually pressing harder than Arsenal were at certain points anyway. But they were able to do it. More comfortable on the ball. United are just not comfortable with doing that, are we? And then if you're looking at uh, other good bits, as I said, Fred is a player I think that will fr thrive under Rangnick, but wow, we saw the worst of him and the best of him tonight. Such an infuriatingly brilliant player at, at times and then just goddamn infuriating other times. It's, you really saw Jekyll and high performance from Fred tonight, but ultimately he was one of the most involved players and we won 3-2. Ronaldo came up with two goals. The lot was fantastic for me. Uh, Maguire coming back in, he was like, he seemed up for it, but more up for it, I don't know, going forward than he was actually, I don't know, maybe defending as a centre-back, first and foremost, just saying. Just saying. Uh, Tellez, I thought, played okay, uh, but Delot definitely outshot him. Sancho and Rashford, they had their moments, but I would call them moments. I'm looking forward to seeing, hopefully, a bit of a switch of formation, maybe working slightly narrow, maybe working, as I said, in those intense... I, th I think if you look at the time, this is, this is quite interesting, if you look at the time when Manchester United won the ball back, towards the end of the first half, to when Bruno Fernandes scored, it was quite literally eight seconds. And of course, Randnick's system involves that countdown timer where Manchester United have got 10 seconds to... eight seconds to win the ball back, I think, and 10 seconds to score or create a chance within it. It's exactly what we did there. So there were a couple of nods to the Ragnick revolution that might be coming, but I'm going to stop at that because there was so much wrong with that performance tonight. You know, as I said, the, the, the tempo in the first half just was not there. The organisation, I would say, was not there the entire game. But Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo ultimately came up with the goods to get the three points there tonight. And I want to go back and say, look, thank you, Michael Carrick. Well done. Right. As I said, the performance against Villarreal, poor for 60, brilliant for 30. Three points. Performance against Chelsea, they penned us in quite a lot of it, but it seemed like a game plan. One rash tackle by wan away from getting a 1-0 win there. Tonight, geez, man, we were so unorganised. So unorganised. In that in the first 45 minutes, basically the entire team, hardly anybody came out with that, with any sort of credit. But we've got three points, and ultimately that's what matters, and that's what United are right now. It's a team that even when they win, when they win you're like, Whoa. okay, well, there's room for improvement there. That wasn't a complete performance. You know, we won, but there's room for improvement. It's exactly what United's team is right now. But at the very least, we gave Ragnick that three points so he can go into the game against Crystal Palace with momentum, with wind in our sails. And that does not relieve the pressure a little bit. The pressure is still on. Of course, it's going to be on straight away. But that game against Crystal Palace, now we can go in off the back of three points. And a win at Old Trafford. My word, it feels like it's been a long time since we said that. I think it was a... Oh, geez, I don't want to speak about it. But I think it was after Arsenal scored their first goal tonight, that was like nine consecutive goals that United had conceded at Old Trafford without even scoring. That's how bad it was getting at home. But three points. We got the win. Ronaldo got another two. I bet he can't wait to sit on the bench under Ragnick. I'm looking forward to seeing the Ragnick revolution start. I, I cannot hide my excitement about it. But Carrick has done a job there. Got us over the line with those three results in a very, very tumultuous seven to ten days as a football club. He's done a great job as the interim, interim manager. My man of the match tonight, you can't not give it to Cristiano Ronaldo, right? But real special nod, I would say, to Diogo De Lot, who really took his chance to shine. <laughs> and Fred! I don't think I can't not include Fred as, as bad as he was. He was so involved in all of our goals. Who was your man of the match? What's your initial reaction? What's your overall reaction to that performance from Manchester United? But look, three points. The Ragnik revolution is about to get underway. And I cannot wait to see what he can do. It's going to be a little bit too short for it to happen against Crystal Palace, in my opinion. But young boys in midweek, we can really, really start to see the first 
example of how Manchester United are going to play under Ralph Ragnick. Well done, Carrick. Well done, United.